Good evening. I hope you're doing well today. Can you believe it's January 31st, 2024 already? The month has just literally flown by. Poof, there it was. Couldn't believe it was Wednesday this morning. I was like, oh crap, I have to do the stream tonight. But, exciting things. So that's good. So, thanks for tuning in. I really appreciate it. Hope you're having a fantastic day. Hope you had a good week so far. Uh, just as a reminder, I do stream twice a week. I stream on Wednesday at 6 p.m. Pacific and Sunday at 10 a.m. Pacific, usually for a couple hours, sometimes a little bit longer, depending if I'm all, depending on what's going on, really, how the scenario is going or where I am in that terribleness or goodness or whatever. Uh, if you like this type of content, please consider giving it a like and subscribe if you're watching this on YouTube. It is greatly appreciated. It helps the algorithm a lot. Otherwise, thanks for watching. I really appreciate it. So, what are we doing today? Okay, first thing, I'll give you an overview about what I'm doing, just so you know I'm doing stuff. I've been working, again, on the Iranians. I have finished uh, the company, the Italian, and I've finished the regiment files. I've got up to 1979 in the brigade files, although I haven't organized the unique IDs, but I have been assigning the unique IDs for the actual brigades, so that's a good thing. Good evening, Natkinway. Good to see you. I hope you're doing well today. Thanks for tuning in. Um, yeah. So, it's coming along well. It's, uh, it's tedious work, unfortunately, but it is. Ah, thank you for letting me know. That's greatly appreciated. Yay for good audio and video. Uh, I did close everything, and I'll close this too. That will hopefully help with the stream, just in case you're seeing any, uh, any issues. I, it looks all legit to me, but I don't know on your end. Uh, anyways, so I have been working quite diligently on these uh, organizations. I am making quite a bit of progress. Uh, right now, these brigades are basically done. There may be some additional units that need to be added, but I haven't got to that yet. Uh, but this is what I found so far in my research. Look at that, a typo. Yay for scrolling and finding a typo. Yeah, so that's that. Uh, I will continue working on these Iranians until the order of battles are done. Uh, I do have a couple of... Uh, where are they? Dun, dun, dun. Hello. Huh. It's not registering my other, uh, my other, anyways, there's a, there's a platoon file that I have to add some units to. I've found in my research that I was missing some units in the platoon file. Plus I still have to assign all the, the guard units. So that will be a big task, but at least there's a lot of progress. So let's close that. And the other thing I've been doing is I have been preparing for Sunday a new scenario. Although I, I so this, I'm going to be playing the Pleiku scenario. I have been coding like a madman, but as you can see, there are still some blank areas. So, so that's a, that's a company that I need to do. There's part of a unit here that needs to be finished. So I haven't even finished the attack right here. Whole company there. Supporting weapons here. I know it's really hard to see, but just doesn't give you an idea. These are all done, though. Until I get down to here, then there's a company here, company here, company here. So basically a full battalion with supporting weapons that I need to, to script. This company is done. That company is done. Supporting weapons need to be done. And then again, there's another battalion that needs to be done. Plus a, a sapper company, I think. Whack load of supporting weapons, including artillery and things like that. And then finally, one more random company down here at the bottom. So I'm trying to get all that done by Sunday so we can give that a play. I will not probably have time to fill out this information, which is kind of like the introduction for the scenario and what the briefings for both sides. Plus, I don't know if I'm going to have time to incorporate, you know, the objective point values at least to start it'll be just a, a run a quick run through so no matter what state i get to we're gonna play it so that's that's the plan for sunday is that we're gonna play this scenario it's a pretty big scenario 
and I can continue. Hey, Ginger, good to see you. Hey, John, good to see you. Hey, Seeker, good to see you. So yeah, my plan is to hopefully get this as much done as I can so we can play and I can add to it as we're playing. Uh, for example, the points or if I miss the company, then I'll add that company for the next session and things. But I think, I think this is like 30 turns or something like that. So it's a fairly substantial scenario. That'll give us something to do for a, a few Sundays. Yeah, crazy times. All right. Things are going nutters. What are we doing? Middle East. Let's get rid of this. Don't need that. I think I turned everything off, so we should be good. And resume a save game. Third time's the charm. Let's load her up. So we were in the final stages of this. Yeah, there's only 14 more turns of this. And if I remember correctly, we're in the middle of a big battle. So let's do a quick overview just to see where I am. Uh, in the north, we haven't started this yet, but we are pushing towards these objectives up here. Uh, I have run into T-34s and some SC-100s, but so far we've been able to dispatch them. I don't have any ARVs or anything here, so the, whatever I try and destroy is going to clog up the roads. That kind of sucks. Uh, back here, we did finally clean this up and now I have to move my tanks to the road. I Honestly, I think there's zero point of me actually doing that just for the simple reason that they have to come down this road and it's going to take at least 10 turns. So I might as well just leave them there, but we'll see. Here in the north, this is the main line at Unkataf. I am slowly trying to push in. I finally got into the first trenches here. I Now, if this was scripted, I that would be suicide because I would probably have a counterattack available and we would be slaughtered. But because it's not, I'm just going to go to town and hope for the best. Uh, this is fantastic in the, in the sense that uh, we should be able to start pushing in here. My engineers have been trying to clean out these mines to make a, an avenue of approach, and holy crap, it's been tough. Uh, I've, I only have two engineers here, and that is not enough. I should have brought more. Unfortunately, I did not. I don't know what I was thinking. The main thing is, is that I put them all down here, and this attack is going brilliantly, for the most part. We've cleaned up the southern section of the Yunkataf line. We just have a couple of small pockets that have to be dealt with. And actually, we, we'll probably start rolling up this side from the north, or from the south. That'll make our life a lot easier. Now, I know there's a bunch of crap back here, because we've already been being shot at. I am starting to push it to here to see if I can get through and destroy whatever we find. That'll help our, our point income. Again, this, this is just a test for us to see basically what I can get the Egyptians to do to make it more interesting to be playing against, because right now it's not very interesting. And then, in the deep, deep south, look at that, we have helicopters. Uh, in the deep south, we have started the assault on this town, and so far it is going, it's going easier than expected. I had been worried that this was heavily defended, but you know how it is. How many mines were there historically? Yeah, there was, uh, because this this that area there, um, they had three lines, three main defensive belts along in front of this position, and it even extended into the sand, but not that far. So what the, historically what the Israelis did is that they cleared the road and they sent the infantry, the ones that I have on these buses, around through the desert into the into the flank and then rolled up the line by assaulting it from the flank because in the front it was laden with minefields absolutely laden with minefields because they've had they had 10 years to to defend the to defend this and they lost this once already in 1956 so they improved the position significantly so yeah so this this was a really heavily defended 
from the front, not from the back. Uh, there is some issues here that I have to, to fix on this map. I, I've mentioned that before, but I'll remedy that for when I redo everything. Uh, back here, this is where the artillery park was and the anti-aircraft and headquarters and stuff like that. So I'm going through here and, and cleaning these up. Same with the Rafa Dam. The parachutists are, are coming around to, to help out. That's where they were. Unfortunately, I made a mistake last session or the session before and I lost some helicopters, unfortunately. Now I need to find where my other helicopter is. Where is it? Ah, here it is. It's going back. And because I lost that other helicopter, I only have one to move, but I do have a re refueling point, which is great. But I can only move one platoon at a time. So I took the other two companies that were here, and I started walking them down the road to this location here, which now they can all board buses and trucks, and they can join the, the assault as the other ones. What a pain, though. Silly me. I didn't do that right. I accidentally flew over the whole entire Egyptian area, and that uh, that was terrible. But I'm okay now. Twitch, twitch. Alright, so let's take a look. Let's start in the north. Let's get her done. What do we got? Trucks or BTR 152s. Let's take them out. Perfect. Get shot at. Not perfect. Oh, SE 100s. Oh, that might be a couple of them, or was that the same one? Let's bring up some tanks. Oh, there's two of them. There we go. Okay, I'm going to continue to advance. This could get ugly, but I need to push. Uh-oh. That's not good. I wonder what that is. So I'm advancing on this wadi because they have a harder time seeing me when I'm inside. Mind you, it's dark anyways. Visibility is one, so it's really unlikely they're going to see me anyways. But So if I continue advancing along that wadi, we should be there in like six turns at the most, assuming we don't run into anything bad. That being the case, I'm going to throw some APCs in there too. Maybe the six pounder half tracks. Yeah, in North Africa, particularly Western and Eastern Libya, I think they were still trying to find all the mines placed in World War II. Mines last forever. Yeah, no kidding, right, John? So many mines. Brigade Headquarters. I'm going to leave that there just to provide some resupply. We do have mortars. Uh, let's hit that and that. Maybe we'll get lucky with a, a kill or a disable. Down here, let's get into the wadi, see if there's anything there. No, not yet. That's good. Let's do a quick fly through. Oh, maybe we'll get lucky. Now, this isn't a recon helicopter, but it has zero use. So, that's why I'm flying it around, hoping to draw some fire, just to gain some intelligence on this line. So, we did operate everything in the south. I think that's good. Here, we've done all that I want to do. Uh, let's see. Do I want to advance into here yet? No. I will plot some mortars, though. Ah, crap. That's not good. 
So this mine belt con continues all the way out in front. All the way out in front. So I have I can't just drive in there. Driving behind is fine because they didn't protect the back. Oh, I have engineers back here. Alright, in the south, let's see. We were assaulting this town, and I think we're pretty well good to go. Oh yeah, we found an engineer back here. Sneaky buggers. They're disrupted, I can't do anything with them. The defensive position back here goes pretty deep. I, I think there's artillery in here too. Had I been playing this against the human, my, my infantry here would be having a really bad day, unfortunately. So, let's see what happens. That's the thing. The AI doesn't use its artillery right now. So I have to script all that. Is that an aircraft gun somewhere up here? So I think there was... Yeah, I think there's an Egyptian tank battalion up here. And that's what I'm running into. That sucks. Oh, what is that? I think it's just an infantry platoon. Ooh, that's good. There's a tank there or something. And they're targeting the infantry, or the engineer, which makes sense. That's a high priority target. Oh, rear shot. Oh, we got lucky. Oh, leaders and a truck. Maybe there's a headquarters there. One other thing I've been doing is watching uh, Blender videos because I've come to the conclusion that I'm going to have to start developing t terrain tiles and I'm thinking I'm going to use Blender to do that. It would be way more interesting if the... Yeah, you're right, John. It would be way more interesting if the AI used its artillery. Or playing a human. Playing a human would be brutal. But, once it's scripted, this will be far more challenging. See, we're, there's a whole bunch of stuff defending back there. Ah, crap, they found my artillery. Or mortars. Ouch. Determined to kill that thing. <laughs> Makes me wonder how many anti tank guns or recordless rifles are in that hack. Ah, there we go. More interesting. Are we going to lose our tanks? Anti aircraft guns. And we got lucky. No damage. This is the hard part. Let's see if we can survive this and this guy can recover. 
machine gun. Oh, we reduced them. Perfect. This is a bunker. This will be harder to get into. Especially since it's stacked up like that. Ah, oh, no. They ran away. And got reduced. So we're shooting, which means they can start shooting at our target or at our gun flashes now. Playing a human is a big plus, but scripting is changing that dramatically for the solo player versus the AI. Yeah, absolutely. It is making playing against the AI night and day difference. Oh, we got hit again. Darn it. Playing against the scripted AI is is far more challenging. If you watched the last video, ha! Ah! Oh, you should have seen it, John. It was brutal. The uh, the la the end of the the score from the last session on that play test was minus two thousand and change. Oh, I got slaughtered so bad. It's because they counterattacked my uh, APC group and wiped them out completely. They gained a lot of points for uh, for that. That was bad. Yep, last on Sunday session. Yep. Because I played that scenario twice, John. You missed the ending of the second set, of the second scenario that I played. It was bad. <laughs> it was so bad. Good day, infantryman. How are you doing? So far, we're holding on. I am well, thanks for asking. I did get your turn, I just haven't had a chance to play it. I'll probably be playing all my turns tomorrow. Yeah, you should go watch it on YouTube there, John, just to see how bad it was. It was so terrible. It was like Tarawa. Yeah, no kidding. Yeah, no names were taken. It was pretty rough. That was that was rough. But I think the only thing I really need now to do to that scenario is to have it so that the American engineers and infantry are released on a random turn after the after the town falls, probably the entire town falls, I think. Or there's a certain amount of casualties that the Arvin have. I, I haven't decided what I'm gonna do yet though. It has to be random. I wanna make it random so it's not predictable. Because as soon as it's predictable it's no fun, right? southern attack is going much better than the northern attack. I'm glad we came up that valley.
Oh no. Record this rifle out in the middle of nowhere. Where did that come from? Where did that come from? Wait the heck over here. That's crazy. So that's a defended position there, which I'm going to have to deal with. Hopefully we don't... Oh, we already are disrupted. Crap. Here's our attack into town. How's this going to go? I don't know. Hey, do you think you could have uh, the north tanks cut through the desert? Unfortunately, yeah, I could, but it's going to be one turn at a time. I can't move further than that because there's so many dunes in there. That's the problem. And the Centurions, for example, they're only moving in the desert at night, one hex per turn. crap. Freaking anti-tank guns and recoilless rifles. That's a nasty combination for infantry. Oh, that's an anti-aircraft gun. That's even worse. We're getting lucky, though, but it's got three shots. Oh, they all missed. I'll show you how far that those tanks are, uh, Seeker. They're, they're too far to be useful. Uh, yeah, Centurions are great, but not very fast. No, not at all. They've got great guns on them, though. But in fighting at night, everything is reduced. All vehicles are reduced by 50%, right off the top, just because it's nighttime. even going out to that road even going to the road the main road to El Arish El Arish, El El Arish. Um, oh no here they come slowly but surely it's going to take 10 turns and yeah I don't think it's worth me even trying to do because they're not going to be able to participate in anything I don't think so just leaving them up at that position 100 or whatever it is, is fine. Oh man, they're just coming out to play. Look at them all. Run away! Ah, got reduced again. What a shot. Ah, the recordless rifle. At least they're coming to us, which makes that part easier. And we're not not getting assaulted. That's always a good thing too. <laughs> of course I say that. And we just get overrun. We just lost a platoon. Thanks. Thanks. That's hilarious. <sighs> oh, we survived. Some movement in the background that we can't see. At least we maintain this hex, which gives us visibility to these two hexes for our artillery. That's a good thing. Maybe we'll get lucky with the uh, the artillery, and we can push through into that hex. vibes. 
Six units out of 17 have recovered. That's oh, not good. Three artillery units unavailable, 11 units low on ammo, and we did clear a uh, minefield or a block tax. So, because it's not scripted, these don't change. Which is working to our advantage this time. Otherwise, it'd be dropping down one or two. Although, a, si a scenario of this size, I would probably incorporate... Oh, nice. I would probably incorporate some supply things for the Israelis to do. Just to make it interesting. I will have to rebuild this scenario, though. There are some elements that are missing that I need to revise. Come on, get lucky. That's a good hit, maybe. Ah, uh, maybe not. Targeting was good, just missed. Come on. Oh. Disruption, that's always good. Oh, happy. That was good. Couple of losses and disruptions. Perfect. Not so lucky. That engineer still disrupted because we haven't cleared that block yet. Come on. Show me some love. Well, that's a start. Come on. all the disruptions. That makes me happy. Are we going to get lucky? No disables. Oh, we got lucky there, though. I don't know what we hit, but we destroyed it. Alright, so since we're here, let's start here. I'm going to target these tanks. Crap. Well, that's that's a good thing. Let's advance with our engineers. Ah, oh, BTR. Okay, let's hit the SU one hundred. Hit the BTR 152s. Oh, we took them out. That makes me happy. Oh, we took out the tanks too. Heck yeah. And that's lit up now, so we should have better attack value against that unit. Nice. Oh. Getting hit from the rear. Where are we getting hit from? Here. Man, tank battle. Oh, nice. That was a good hit. Oh, that lighting that all those wrecks lighting up that hex really helps. This, on the other hand, sucks, so let's run away.
so they shouldn't be able to see this. Uh, John is saying the British had 12 first generation Centurion tanks in testing in Britain when World War II ended in Europe. They never made it to the final days in Germany in World War II. However, they made a big impression in the Korean War and beyond. Yes, that is true. What else can I do? Let's fire at this infantry up here. And I do have the mortars. Let's utilize those mortars. Oh, we have more infantry. Let's bring them up here. Oh, I don't have enough to shoot. Oh, we lost an S. Where was that? Ah, oh, there's an SU-100 way the heck back there. That's not cool. It seems so far away, but it's not. It's right there. Damn, there's so much crap here. Maybe I do need to send these tanks over. Well, let's just grab them. So, for perspective, this is how far. So that is... 15 and that's 62 so yeah so we're basically looking at 50 turns to get all the way down here that's not gonna that's not gonna work but with the road we can at least advance a little bit further the problem is is that these tanks out here because they were chasing infantry are one two three four hexes so four turns just to get onto the road yeah so they're not gonna be very if they're not gonna be useful unfortunately that sucks. I should have put more thought into that. Let's take this if we can. When we can. So we did. Let's uh, continue advancing. I don't know what this is. Headquarters. Perfect. Let's bring up our other troop. So we have a parachute company attacking. Let's go grab our other helicopter. It should be refueled. Oh no, we have to reload it. That's too bad. Oh, we can take off and fly one hex. So remember, at night, this N means that it's flying Nap of the Earth, which means it's going to expend, I think it's five action points at night, flying Nap of the Earth, but it's not affected if you're up in the low and and high flight zones but in the map of the earth flight zone yeah it's it's a bad thing all right let's overrun this if we can no but we did do some damage we do have enough points to do it again so i'm gonna do it again Hallelujah. i don't know what this is but let's overrun it just in case there's guns there It was just the half tracks. What's this? Mortars. Let's bring them up. Empty half tracks. Let's bring them up too, just for support. Oh, oh no. Oh crap. Oh, double crap. Okay, so there's a, a battalion of artillery right there, so we need to go hunting for that. Uh, what am I going to do here? Let's advance. Oh, they're disrupted. And our tanks are disrupted now. Crap, I was kind of hoping to use them for direct fire on that position there, but that's not going to work. Uh, okay, let us fire a flare. Is it too far away? It's probably too far away. How about you fire a flare? Also too far away. Oh, man. Uh, you're disrupted. You can fire a flare, can't you? Yes. 
just not very well. Look at that. They're wasting all their... Oh, they wasted all their shots. Come on. There we go. Uh, let's fire at these things. Oh, that was a nice hit. And only the first three fired, so that's good. And we caused a reduction because only the top one fired. Uh, everyone, no joy there. But maybe that's enough to push into here. Let's see. Oh, oh, we got... Oh, that was terrible. Can I do it again? Oh, no, I can't. What about these guys? Yeah, okay, that's good. Then let's throw them into here. Sheesh, that was a, a rough hit. That was good though. So there's these guys are reduced significantly. What are those 100 millimeter ATGs are already? I think these are are one 130 millimeter. I think if I remember correctly, artillery. That's why playing this against the human would be, or when it's scripted, would be way harder because I would script all this artillery. And right now the way Birdo had turned off the artillery for indirect fire that it can't see so it doesn't work like it should be for whatever reason there's a ton of artillery this is a crazy amount of artillery um unfortunately i'm not experiencing what i would be experiencing if it if this was scripted or i was playing against the human fortunately for me because it's <laughs> way easier i'd be suffering way too many casualties if I was playing against the human right now. Or against the AI that was scripted. to support let's push this way though we don't need these guys there they're disrupted but they can go this way uh, these infantry I think we can make it over here yes the tanks will go into here Take, we'll shoot at these guys. We can't do anything about that. Oh, we did reduce them. Perfect. Yeah, it makes a huge difference. It's night and day. It really is. But this is good practice. I obviously need more troops up this way. So I need to start pushing that way. They're not happy. Let's pull them out of the line. Let's take a look at the counter view. So there was a comment on uh, YouTube about me choosing to play in 3D mode as opposed to 2D mode. I do use 2D mode for planning but most of my combat action is is in 3D mode because it reminds me of tabletop wargaming. I know that sounds cheesy, but that that's that's the main reason. Not only that, he did mention that there's so much more information available in 2D, which there is quickly, and that's why I do my planning here, but all this information here is available here. So I'm not really missing anything by being in, in this view because all I have to do is click a stack and I can see all the stats that I need to see. Uh, and 
Yeah, even if I wanted to, I could change these counters to 3D, but I like the natal look. So watch. Counters, counter style graphics, 3D, there we go. So you can do that if you want to. I like the natal look for my graphics. There is silhouettes in the works, but they will take some time. I have so many things going, so I only have enough time to do certain things. Uh, let's bring up a little... I'm going to need some more troops up here. Do I have engineers here? I do not. Let's move these guys into here. Now, I don't know. Let's do a recon, slow time, into here to see if this there's mines here. Because if there isn't, then I'll come this way. Oh, seriously? Level 1 minefield. Didn't even see it. We were standing in it. Frick. There's probably a minefield here too. So I'm just going to wait. Any possibility for RD and a block? I'm trying to clear this block. I have an engineer there. He just needs to uh, undisrupt. But... I know there's a position here, because I ran into that. I don't know if there's a position there, so maybe I'll get lucky and, and push my way through it. But this is heavily defended, I know that. Let's go back into this hex here. We're going to get shot at, but at least it'll keep them from shooting my engineer. Let us... Can I use... No, that's too far away. Crap. Let's use... Oh, there we go. There we go. That's a game changer. That's a game changer right there. So, let's target the freaking guns. Now everything in their dog is going to be firing at us. They disrupted us. We have Shermans out here, so they're they're obviously not as strong as the Centurions. Crap. Do I have any other guns? Some mortars. Can I hit them? Ah. Okay, what can I see? Can I see these guys? Come on. Just one hit. Just one hit. No joy. Well, that sucked. I wish I had more engineers up here. Let's move some of these units a little bit closer. So basically, as you can see, I have essentially a full infantry brigade that is stuck on the road. Because I was held up.
Uh, with the two D, with the extra two D modes available, like I like two D modes more and more. I only wish the older games we had two D silhouettes, but yeah, that's true. One day they will come. He's loaded up. All right, let's go up north. I think we did that. We did that. Perfect. That we did. This we did. Let's go south. Way south. Alright. What are we going to do here? Oh, what's this? Ah, infantry. Crap. First things first. Let's see if we can take out this machine gun. Oh, I can't even see it. That's that's good. Let's try one more time. We we re reduced it, which is good. Reduced it twice. Let's throw in one more assault. There we go. So that was good. And I can continue that assault. Let's advance into this hex here. That's unfortunate. Oh, that was crappy. Oh, I can join that assault. Ah, nope, that wasn't good. guys are disrupted. I can't do anything about that. They didn't recover yet. Don't have enough to assault, so let's just fire. Get hit by mortars. Yay! Now this is going to be a flanking assault, at least. If I can get in there. Uh, these guys are still disrupted. I can't move closer. Yeah, they are tough, John. They are very tough. The night turns are tough. Okay, so we do have artillery. Let's utilize that. Uh, let's hit that. Let's hit that big stack. Hit this and this. We have 25 pounders. Let's also hit uh, that and that. Hmm. They're not happy. Oh, we do have fresh infantry. I'm going to send them this way to see if we can at least get around to the flank. Maybe isolate, the, isolate this position. That'll make life a little bit easier. These guys, let's move this way. Oh yeah, there was engineers here. Or some sort of infantry there. Right there. Headquarters. Okay, we do have that unit in the middle that we're trying to hunt down those Egyptians. If I remember correctly, there was Egyptians that were coming up this way, so we're trying to cut them off and make sure that they don't get all the way up here, which they won't now. It's way too far away. All right, let's save it, end it, see what happens.
It's all that artillery. They just fired one gun. I don't understand that. It's crazy. No effect. No effect. No effect. No effect. Also no effect. Oh, that's not good. Oh, they missed. Missed my machine gun jeeps. So all those machine gun jeeps, they are recon assets, but with visibility of one hex, I can't see anything anyways. Looks like the parachutes here have hit some sort of command area, which is good for us. head-to-head or play-by-email, the addition artillery will rain down. Yeah, right? That That is the problem for the Israelis, is that the Egyptians have a lot of artillery. Which is why they sent the parachute battalion to the back to take out that artillery. Run away. Oh, I didn't know there was another trench there. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Did we get in there? Are we going to get in there? That'd be amazing. shooting into a bunker. That's not going to have any effect, I don't think. Not firing at night. Not with that defensive bonus of a bunker. Oh, we lost that platoon. They might be far enough away not to suffer any damage, though. But looking, that's a, a two-strength minefield plus a block, so that's three turns that that has to clear that. Oh, we're getting lucky. We're getting really lucky so far. Keep at it. Keep at being lucky. is this platoon going to be? So what I would do as the as scripting the Egyptians if there was, you know, one or two platoons in this area or even in this hex or something like that, I would have one of these companies fanatically assault that. So th they would take a lot of losses on both sides, just trying to get in there, especially after uh, all the direct fire and whatnot. This would be a very hard frontal assault for the Israelis, which is why they flanked the position, obviously. Come on, stay there. It's 
scary. I might slow time into this hex here just to see what's there. I'm going to assume it's a huge minefield, but if we do slow time, we might get lucky. The only problem is we'll get shot at. I wish I had more artillery for down here. Here's the thought, what a would a scenario be like if all 50 turns were night? Oh man, that would be brutal. Well, we wouldn't even, we wouldn't be here. We wouldn't be at the line if this whole scenario was nighttime, because everything would be so slow. Ah, we got disrupted. So much for my plan. And all these trenches, they slow everything down too. Stacked, so we could take some losses here. I'm grateful that there's not a lot of RPGs here. Oh, no. At least they just ran away. And they kind of ran away in the right direction, at least, too. So that's good. Ah, oh, the recoilless rifles from across the valley. Think we're in a improved position in a village. This helps protect us. Although my mortars are probably going to hit me. That's not good. But we're half strength. So maybe we'll get lucky. Oh, look at that. There's a headquarters. There's a mortar. There's some beeps. Video and audio is 5-5. Five, five. Thanks for the heads up there, John. I appreciate it. Oh, we reduced it. That's good. We need... Some of these platoons to undisrupt so we can assault that and get rid of it and work our way down the road. Well, so far so good. retreated in the right direction. 
That's this. That's not good though. That's only two strength points. Oh, we got disrupted too, because they're visible. Too many wrecks. They might overrun this. Oh no! <laughs> Look at that sneaky buggers. Well, that's good. At least they're saved now. Oh, there's infantry up here, too. Huh. Makes me wonder what they're doing. Now movement that we can't see. Flare fired. Eleven out of twenty-four units have uh, recovered morale. Man, that's a lot of units. Ten headquarters unable to provide supply. One artillery unavailable. Seven units low on ammo, and we did clear some mines and blocks. Yay! Are we gonna get lucky? No. Maybe. Yes. Reduced it, retreated it. Perfect. So there's only a machine gun there. I, I might try to assault it. Just because I can. Yeah, my mortars. Darn it. At least they missed. No, no effect. No effect. Come on, heavy hits. Ah, crap. Oh, they've been taking quite a few losses. There's only two guns there now, two mortars. John is asking, why would infantry with minimal Minimal AT capacity firing at tanks. Not sure what is going on there. It no, it's just it's the closest target. So, and I didn't adjust the opportunity fire for the Egyptians. So, with that sense, they see a target, they shoot at it. It was the only target they saw, so that's why they were shooting the tanks. All right, let's start here in the south. Can we overrun the headquarters? Uh, nope. Let's fire. Oh man. More guns. Ah. Oh. Okay, let's try that again. Oh, that was better. Nice. So we took out the guns. We're running into artillery though. Those are some big guns. Ah, oh, we got hit. 
crap. There's a headquarters there. I want to grab that. Perfect. I'm going to grab these two mortars if I can. Also perfect. That's good. So we are making progress. We're taking a lot of casualties though, unfortunately. Let's see if we can do some damage to these infantry. Ah. Oh, that's good. Oh, that's that's okay. Let's get out of the light. Can I get out of the light? Yes. Let's overstack this, or not overstack, but at least stack it, and then let's start firing at these guys. And this will be our priority target for now. We're going to throw in all of our artillery into there. I don't know if this is a bunker or a trench or what, but we do have infantry coming up behind. And we'll utilize these for the assault. Oh, excellent. We caused them to retreat. We reduced them. That's wide open, unfortunately. Perfect. We took that out. I'm going to maneuver these infantry down and around where the guns are. They're still disrupted, but I, at least I can move them now. Let's zoom in here. These are out in the open. They're full strength. Let's see if we can target them. Ah, uh, nope. Can't. Gosh darn it. We can target these because they're gun flashes. Alright, let's hit that with our artillery. That position's the strongest. I'm going to hit the 100 pointer just because they might go into there. And then the rest of the battery will go onto that position there. Now, there are guns here. That sucks. We did run down here with our our reconnaissance units, but these anti-tank guns, they I think they're 85 millimeters. They did a number on our, our units. We wiped out one gun plus all of our jeeps. So we ran away and protected the flank. Let's go up here. Let's take a look. Do we have disrupted units? We do, so let's fire a flare. Let's try again. Try again. So because they're disrupted, they have a really low chance, but there's doesn't hurt me trying at least. We have engineers. Let's get them into here. Let's try firing with them. There we go. That's way better. So what do we have? One, two, four, two. So it's not overstacked, but we don't know what's in there. Let's move a little closer. Do a couple of firing. Maybe we can get rid of something. Oh, that's good. Can we do it again? Six pounder half tracks. Uh, Sherman's. Can't see. Infantry. You know what? Okay, I can't assault, but let's fire. We reduced it. What else can we shoot at? Okay, let's try. Overwhelming tank strength to get into here. Plus these are, oh, they don't have very good assault because they're mine clearing tanks. Oh, that wasn't even our bunker or nothing. I wonder what the heck they were doing there. That's good though. Hey, we got in there. That's what we wanted to do. 
Let's swing up here. Yeah, they have. I thought I thought that was a bunker. I thought it'd be way harder to get in there. Hmm. Fascinating. Bizarre, but fascinating. Yeah, I, that's the legacy AI. I don't know why they were doing that. That's so bizarre. Good hit. Just one. Oh, nice. Heck yeah. Okay, so what do we have here? Let's move up. Get shot at. Shoot back. Maybe we got lucky. Let's try our assault. Well, we caused damage, but not enough to get in. So this is good. We, we have a force coming up. We should be able to overrun that pretty easily in the next few turns. But here's where the problem lies. Um... Oh, that's going to suck. Lost the tank. I thought it was further up. Shoot. Okay, so let's be strategic. No, I can't assault with these because they're zero value, so that's not good. But we can fire with all... No, can't fire with them. Can fire with these. That's gonna hurt. Okay. We need a much bigger force here, unfortunately. Speaking of forces, let's go grab our helicopters. Get them up in the high flight zone, because then they can move the farthest. We're going to aim for this landing zone here. That's our plan. Oh, look at that. So, this is a brigade headquarters. That is phenomenal. Let's say hello. See if they have any tea. Oh, 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 oh excellent. We want to take those heavy mortars out. Can I? No, but I can shoot them. Another more guns. Holy. Well, that's not good. So there's a whole bunch of batteries back here. Oh, that's not good at all. Oh, ouch. And I can't tell if I reduce that or not. Anyways, we're gonna land that new that that other uh, parachute platoon here. I'm gonna assault whatever this is. I think it's gonna be a recordless rifle or something because it's already been firing. Let's go way up north. We should be able to just overrun that. Oh, but we did reduce it by three. With brigade or with scripting brigade headquarters should never be left out. No, I agree. You're absolutely right, John. Oh no. Retreated. 
What's this? More tanks. Let's hit these tanks. Oh, that was a good hit. Uh, these infantry. Let's hit these infantry. And let's move these tanks up the road. The other side of the wadi what with visibility uh, see there's something there so i have to watch that now i think those two se100s they went into this hex here now there was yeah there's t-34s there where are other tanks there they are oh took it out to recoil this rifle that we just took out. Excellent. So let's do some maneuvering here. Let's get our tanks up. Do I have any other infantry? I don't, so I have to be careful. We do have artillery, so let's hit there, because that's where those SE-100s were. Let's go over here. Now again, it's nighttime, so I can only go as far as I can with these tanks. And that's that far. There's a road here, though. I just have to get to there. So slow. Alright, down south. Now, I want to see if I can get into here. Yes! Can I push right through there? Double yes. Okay, can I do the same with these guys? Yes! There we go. We broke. We breached the lot. Oh, we're take taking losses, but that's good. Yeah, so this recovered from being disrupted, so it finally cleared that block. Hallelujah. So what we're going to do is start pushing. With all of our guys through this gap. Okay, so let's, does anyone, can anyone fire? They can fire. Let's hit this. Could get ugly. There's a lot of tanks there. So basically, I just want to disrupt everything that I can't. Oh, that's where they did. Look at that, the buggers. Okay, so we actually have to move all this out of the way. I don't want them to be fired. Oh, uh, no. Let's, let's give them something else to worry about. Oh, I forgot to slow time. Oh, no. Oh. <sighs> that sucked so bad. Oh, man, that was stupid. That was a, a bad mistake. Man, that 
that sucked. Yep. That was terrible, Xbox. Totally. That was bad. Oh, man. That was terrible. Yeah, thanks for that. I appreciate it. I'm glad you tuned in. It's been a while. All is good? Frickin' crap, crap, crap. Yeah, yeah. I, I, I hear ya. Same for me. Work, work is busy. Life is busy. But that's okay. This is the fun part for me. I really enjoy doing this. And I'm glad you're tuning in to watch. That's awesome. Okay, let's uh, let's be brave. Or, or dumb. One of the two, I haven't decided. And bring up some infantry. Where are you going? All my books are packed, so that's a good start. That, uh, my military history books. Any guesses how many boxes? Anyone? Going once? Going twice? There was 56 boxes of military history books, which is insane. And that doesn't include the ones that I have stored at my sister's. Ha! How crazy is that? And these are banker boxes too, right? So, that's crazy. Where? Oh, there we are. That's perfect. We have some more, more guns. Guns are good. stuff out of the way. Yeah, I think I have another 16 boxes at my sister of books. But my office in the new place is going to be bigger, which is good, because then I can set get them all out. I have two other bookcases that uh, I have yet to assemble because I just didn't have room in my current office. So that makes life kind of exciting. I am very curious to see what my new office is going to look like after I get everything all set up. Hey, that's done. South, we're done. Here, I'm just going to move. Maybe they're not coming this far. Or maybe they stopped somewhere. I'm not sure. Yeah, I do have a ton of books. It's going to be heavy moving all that crap, let me tell you. Okay, I think we're done. So let's save it. And the turn. See what happens. But it's all reference material, right? So I, I kind of need it, unfortunately. Fire back. that recoilless rifle that's down the wadi. Now you can fire back. Oh, disrupted and reduced.
It seems that there is never enough reference material at all. Oh no, don't shoot at the tanks. Oh, there's more tanks. Holy crap. headquarters that retreated. We're definitely going to go hunt that down. But there's a whack load of artillery here, so we have to be careful. Plus, recordless rifle position, so that means there's infantry out here, probably. There, there. There was guns up in here somewhere. Look at them all. That'll be juicy points, though, once we start taking them out. So, artillery assets are priority, so that's why they're firing at the mortars. Oh, what's that? Probably another anti-aircraft anti gun. That is a side shot, though. They are Sherman, so they're not that strong on the side. This will be the fun part. How's this going to go? Oh, nice. Took that out. More engineers. As long as they survive. We're going to get a lot of shots, though. Oh, ouch. Down to one squad. just ready to pour through this gap. Positive vibes, positive vibes. We can do it. 
This is scary. There's two tank companies sitting there. Ah, oh, we got damaged. Darn it. This hurt my feelings totally. We lost so many troops right there. Because I didn't slow time. One stupid mistake. They're not targeting our troops out here, so that's good. It gives them targets, right? So that's important. good headway down here. Thanks for being Jason. Hey, thanks for tuning in there, John. I really appreciate it. Hope you have a good week. Hope to see you on Sunday. Positive vibes for you. Oh, there's a recoilless rifle there. Ah, oh, we lost our infantry. Boo. Ah, we lost the tank. Crap. So yeah, this minefield is 250 meters across. It was pretty rough. Pretty rough, let me tell you. Yeah, 500 meters. Was it really? That's 500. we'll get into these positions here next turn. I still can't believe that. I really thought that was a bunker or something. But no, the AI was just going back and forth there for who knows what reason. I don't understand. Some places in the north were three deep. Yeah. won't be happy. We should be able to drive over them pretty easily. This is going to be the tough part because there's a lot of assets back here, I think. Anti-aircraft gun, anti-tank gun, and a cordless rifle or something up in here. Probably the same as that was over here. Thanks for tuning in there, Seeker. I really appreciate it. And thanks for the uh, the chatter back and forth. That's also appreciated for sure. I'll be streaming again on Sunday at 10 a.m. if you're around. If not, next week, same time. Come on, we 
we can do it. We have the power. So this is one of those cases of, yeah, this might recover, but it's not going to recover fully. Because I think the morale of these guys is six. I don't remember if it was five or no, they're five. So they're only one, one shy. to boost their morale, right? <laughs> ah, very true, Ginger. Very true. Ah, we got reduced again. What? Ah, they occupied the trenches. That sucks. And that's a full strength platoon. Good. At least they're going into this hex. Maybe that'll overstack it, which gives us an opportunity to take it out with artillery. Saw that coming. That's why we plotted artillery there. Oh, we lost a tank. movement in the background. units have recovered morale out of 21 nine headquarters unable to provide supply two units two artillery units unavailable seven units low on ammo we have one aircraft that needs to refuel and we've cleared a block or mine that's good let's see how our, our artillery is going to do missing Here we go. Good hit. Good hit. Nice. Do it again. No joy. That's lit up, so that improves our odds, which is good. Yeah, look at that. We already reduced it twice. Maybe cause a disruption. Obviously, we can't hit the broadside of a barn, though. Artillery, no joy. Thought we might get a disable there, but we did not get lucky. No joy. Also, no joy. Look at that, that's way overstacked but they have a defensive bonus for being in the trenches oh we got the reduction there on the uh, recordless rifles all right what are we doing we are pushing getting the heck through here That anti-aircraft gun. 
I'm not even going to stop. We're going to clean up that line. Just like that. Let's move our engineers through, hopefully. Ah, disrupted. Down to one strength point. That sucks. Come on. Survive. Excellent. So I pushed through. That's what I wanted to do. And all these guys are going to be pushing up. Let's start to clean up this mess with this infantry back here. Okay, so let's unleash one of these. Perfect. We only have eight left. I have to be careful. Last time, uh, place. Wait, let's see what's going on there. Next, what's this talking? God, I hate when a job does that. Here are some pizza to try and make everyone happy. Last time a place did that, I was eating seared tuna and salad all week and was making my own homemade pizza. Pissed me off when they were paying bottom of the barrel wages. And think a pizza party is a cute little treat. Yeah, no, that's true, right? You're absolutely right. just can't get in there so we're gonna send more infantry down here and we're just gonna plug this gap full of infantry and go to town as as much as we can that's overstacked that's overstacked uh. There we go, we have lots of... Clean up that road so we can bring in some more troops. The battalion headquarters, leave them there. Leave these guys there. More headquarters, leave them down here. Heavy weapons, heavy weapons are always good. Infantry, that's what we need. load of artillery now. Whole bunch of artillery. The new job is totally a piece of pace or change of pace so no complaints here on the new place. Oh that's good. That's really good. Better for your sanity. flares you are lighting up yeah for sure they so what they do what flares do just in case you were wondering they negate all the night combat issues that you have for example your attack values and then your defensive values and things like that are modified because it's nighttime but if you fire a flare and you're firing into those hexes they take all those things away which makes night combat a little less effective the problem is you don't have a a vast amount of these things, unfortunately. So I'm gonna put these on the top of the stack so I can readily identify them. Units top of the stack. So yeah. So back here I can fire. Here I'll show you the difference. So this guy here, we're gonna fire at this guy and notice that it's firing at 11 but if I fire at the guy out in the open oh no wait a second why is that not working 
usually it's reduced by a significant value by like 25% or something. I'm not sure why I didn't do that. Maybe because there's gun flashes there, but I can't target what I want. Oh, that was a good hit. Yay. Can we get lucky and do it again? Nice. Okay. That's full strength. This is not. Let's try and overrun this. We reduced it. I'm going to throw in another assault. And there we go. Overran it. Perfect. That's what we wanted to do. Our infantry, we're going to advance. Now, there is a whack load of tanks or something up here. I'm not sure what's up there. Light tanks. Oh, there's a roadblock. Fire truckers. Let's fire at this. Maybe we'll get lucky. We didn't get lucky. Let's, let's push our luck. Ah, uh, we got disrupted, but we did reduce it by one and disrupted it, so that's encouraging. Over here, we're going to overrun this. Ah, oh, look at that. There's a freaking minefield right there. Okay, so we know this is going to be all minefields. Let's stay out of there. Oh, wait a second. We have mine clearing tanks. Look at that. Okay, so these are good. These are good. We can start cleaning up this line and advance. Uh, these guys are going to not live, we hope. Okay, so that's good. This area is rolling up nicely. Over here, can we get lucky and take out these guns? No. Can I do it? The problem is I only have one tank there, so I need to bring infantry down, but I'm not going to have enough to assault it, so let's see if we can kill it. No. Oh, we reduced it by one. Oh, another gun. Ah, oh, it took out our tank. Freaking crap. Oh, good. We took that out. Heck yeah. And maybe next time we'll get lucky. We'll overrun this. Oh. Okay, so we're, we've broken through. That's encouraging. Let's bring up some half tracks to help out with this. There's a lot of batteries back there. Oh, frick. Ouch. Okay, let's bring our helicopters out. Where are our helicopters? There they are. So I can land there next turn drop off our infantry, our parachutists, get them doing their thing. Uh, here we have a helicopter that's low on fuel, but I do have a headquarters down here. 
where I can refuel. Unfortunately, that helicopter isn't good for anything because it's only one strength point and it's not a recon asset, so it's pretty pointless. But here, we know there is... Oh, where'd they go? There they are. Oh, which one is it? Oh, maybe it moved all the way up there. But let's take out this battalion headquarters. Excellent. Take out this gun. Also excellent. Ouch. So our parachutists are doing a really good job. But there's a lot of guns back here. But if we can take out all the headquarters, maybe that'll reduce their ability to fire for a turn or two. That's what we're going to do. Let's go way up north. Check this out. Okay, there's tanks there, and they're out in the open. So let's see if we can target them. This provides us a... Uh, no, that, is that a side shot or is that a front shot? Oh, that's a rear shot. Or a side shot. Oh, that was a good hit. getting them. Oh, that was a good hit. Let's advance up to here. Pick on this infantry. Oh, perfect. Okay, let's continue our advance towards the objective. I'm not sure what's there. I'm kind of curious. Oh, desert. I forgot. We have to go into the wadi. That's our brigade headquarters. There's our mortars. Let's hit that and that because I think... They seem to be meandering towards us, so let's stop them. Oh man, we're running out of time to get to there. That's crazy. Let's go over to our tanks out in the desert. Almost at the road. So close. Alright, that's done. This is not done yet. Okay, what are we going to do here? Ouch. Let's overrun this. shoot at these anti-aircraft guns or hit the trucks. Ouch. Take some losses. I'm going to be aggressive. Get close to these guns. Oh, we'll reduce them by one. That's good. Ouch. Okay, let's push towards 
this over here. Uh, we need to deal with this. These infantry. Let's swing around. Surround them. What's that? So they're they're really strong. Let's hit these guys first. Well, we reduced them. Such a large battle group. Just funny to see them all stuck on one lane high. I know, right? It's brutal. It's just brutal. It really is. So that's a good hit. That's good. So let's advance. Really isolate that unit. They didn't take a loss though, so let's hit them again. Oh, that was good. Alright, so we lost sight of them. That's not good, but we should see them again. Perfect. Our battery. We want to take this out. So let's call our artillery. Hit a couple of shots there. Put all the heavy mortars there, and then we'll use these 25 pounders for hitting these battery positions out here. Maybe we'll get lucky and cause some damage so we can assault that and and deal with it. Uh, let's send more infantry out this way. Just because I know we're going to get hit. This assault has been going okay. Not great, but okay. And then the last thing we'll do is just move these guys down. Again, we're still trying to find all those Egyptian units that have somehow disappeared into the into the wasteland. That's kind of bizarre. Our helicopters can land next turn. So yeah, that's pretty much it. And since we're over two hours, I think we're going to call her there. And we will continue this next week. Things are getting interesting. This, yeah, x -Buts, this is terrible. This is absolute. I should have sent more units. All the mechanized units I should have sent this way. But the instructions were to use the, the mechanized force to clear it so that the, the infantry brigade could come up and, and position themselves. But there wasn't enough time for that. Not enough time at all. So had I done what I did with these units took half the uh, armored force, sent them down this valley, this valley, and then uh, swung around here, secured a position. There's a landing field here, so I secured that so I could refuel somewhere if I wanted to, and then just advanced up this from the south. I mean, that was... <laughs> that made this whole assault way easier, that's for sure. Huh. And I lost helicopters, so if I didn't lose the two helicopters, I'd have more parachutists back here doing their job but unfortunately I'm only transporting one pair one platoon at a time because I only have six helicopters that's it two platoons of six three strength points each one of them as we saw got reduced it was brutal yeah lost helicopters in this scenario is rough and that was a mistake that was a mistake I landed and I put them up in the high flight zone started to fly this way but they ran over all the Egyptians back here that got shot Wiped out. It was like, ah, oh, fire truck, that sucks. What do you do? Alright, well hey, thanks for tuning in. I really appreciate it. Uh, I'll be back on Sunday at 10 a.m. Pacific. Oh, we'll be returning to Vietnam. I hope to have that scenario scripted, at least the key and important parts of it. That will make the, uh, the scenario at least interesting to watch. I have 
quite a few of the companies done, but I think I'm just under halfway. So Thursday, Friday, Saturday, I will be scripting like a madman trying to get the rest of those companies done so we can play play coup as a first play test. Uh, again, I probably won't have the description and all that fun stuff done, but it's a starting point. And first test, who knows how that's going to go. That's always an adventure. If you're watching this on YouTube uh, and you like the type of content, please give it a like and subscribe. It really does help. Thank you so much for tuning in. Thanks, Ginger, for tuning in. Thanks, Xbox, for tuning in. Thanks, Natting Way, for tuning in. Thanks to everyone else. Really appreciate you tuning in. Thanks for the chatting. That's fantastic. I really enjoy the interaction. It makes this much more fun. Again, one more time. Thank you so much. It is really appreciated. And on that note, take care, smile always, and talk to you soon.